Madam President, I think it's important to remind some uh, and inform others of how we are here. 43 years ago, with the Taiwan Relations Act, America made a bedrock promise to always stand with Taiwan. And on this strong foundation, we have built a thriving partnership, grounded in our shared values of self-government and self-determination, focused on our mutual security interests in the region and across the world, committed to the economic ties that power prosperity for all of our people. Ta 並且深化我們的經濟關係,使得我們的兩國的人民能夠有更好的生活。Today our delegation, which I'm very proud, came to Taiwan to make unequivocally clear we will not abandon our commitment to Taiwan and we are proud of our enduring friendship. And may I mention, they are all co-chairs of this delegation. The chair of the Foreign Affairs Committee, Mr. Gary Meeks of New York, the chair of the Foreign Affairs Committee, of Cal Mr. Takano of California, the vice chair of the Ways and Means Committee, Congresswoman Del Bene of Washington State, the member of the Intelligence Committee and the leader in COVID fight and so many things in the Congress, Congressman Raja Krishnamurti from, I say Illinois, he says Chicago. <laughs> and again, one of our newest members of Congress serving the Diplomat, uh, as a state, as a diplomat in the State Department before coming, uh, Congressman Andy Kim of not only the Armed Services Committee but also the Foreign Affairs Committee and others. We're very proud of our delegation, and and when you hear, as you will be hearing from them in the course of our visit, you will know uh, even more why we are. Thank you to our delegation. And we're proud to be here with the Vice President, with Mr. Wu, with other distinguished leaders who are here with you, Madam President. Thank you for your leadership. The story of Taiwan is an inspiration to all freedom-loving people in the United States and around the world. Out of a crucible of challenge, you have forged a flourishing democracy, one of the freest in the world, proudly to be led by a woman president. That's an applause line. <笑>我们这一次访团非常的荣幸能够来到台湾 Chimbawai 那台灣的故事呢,其實就是一群熱愛自由民主的人民的故事。那其實我們在美國也在全世界都有許多這樣子熱愛自由的人民。And Taiwan has been an island of resilience in the world. Indeed, the people of Taiwan have proven to the world that with hope, courage and determination, it is possible to build a peaceful and prosperous future, even in terms of the challenges you face. And now, more than ever, America's solidarity with Taiwan is crucial, and that is the message we are bringing here today. Taiwan is a self-determining state. Taiwan's people have also shown the world that if they have hope, have courage, and have determination, they can build a peaceful and prosperous future. 
尽管台湾面临着诸这么多的严峻的挑战，但美国与台湾的团结也非常的重要。我们这一次来访，就是要向外界彰显像这样子的美美台之间的团结。When we travel and leave the country as a congressional delegation, security to protect our people as well as global security, economy to spread prosperity in our own country and others. And governance are three principal pillars of our travel. In all three areas, we have great cooperation and friendship with Taiwan, and we value that. I just do want to mention and congratulate Taiwan for your governance of the COVID issue, the COVID pandemic. You are a model to the world in terms of the cooperation of the people and the success of your initiatives. Congratulations, Madam President. Congratulations to the people of Taiwan for following the lead and, and suggesting their own proposals. Today, the world faces a choice between democracy and autocracy. America's determination to preserve democracy here in Taiwan and around the world remains ironclad, and we are grateful to the partnership of the people of Taiwan in this mission. I'm very grateful to receive this award. I'm grateful to you, Madam President, to the people、uh, for their enduring friendship. I'm very blessed, as are my colleagues, with many Taiwan Americans who are very excited about our visit. And in fact, when I came before in '99, I came with them, <laughs> and、uh, we learned a lot. And that's what we came to do: to participate in the Asian Pacific Initiative. In a way that is appropriate for Taiwan to be successful, whether in trade, security, etc., and to do so in a way that opens many more possibilities. We came here to listen, to learn, and what do you know? I got this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful award, the Order of Propitious Clouds, with special grand pardon. Thank you, Madam President.